Right. A woman has been banned from shopping at Walmart, not just in her state, but also all throughout the country. Now, this woman's name is April Cuevas, and she is an extreme couponer. <laughs> and she, she apparently really... Which is a great subculture, just... We should do a show on extreme couponers. Do you do you know about this uh, phenomenon? I see them at the market sometimes. I mean, I you see do. It. Yeah, I do. I like. I see. I can't get over. It. I think they're extreme couponers, but uh -huh. maybe they're not in the whole in like in the club. But unbelievable. They are unbelievable. There's an actual Binders. reality show called Extreme Couponers or Extreme Couponing, something like that, yeah. um, and it features people who literally spend their entire day looking for coupons prior to going to the grocery store. And they buy so much at one time. It amazes me. Like, they will buy the item just because they it's have a coupon cheaper, yeah, for it. Right. right. And then they stockpile. They stockpile right. everything, whether it's like 100 jars of mustard right. or, or whatever. Right, or like grout cleaner. You know, <laughs> great! <laughs> but they'll buy thousands of dollars worth of stuff and it, at the end, when they check out, they only pay about a dollar. It's like right. ridiculous. You guys have to check out that show. I almost admire it. What's it called? It. It's called Extreme Couponing? Or is it, uh, extreme Couponers. It's, just look up reality show Extreme Couponers. You'll okay. somehow come across it. I watched one episode of it. That's why you know my memory of it isn't that great. Right. But um, this woman, it, April Cuevas, is one of those people who you know does the Extreme Couponing. She goes to Walmart. And it turns out that Walmart didn't like it, okay? In fact, they didn't like it so much that they changed their policy on couponing. So they changed their policy so this woman wouldn't be able to go in and buy thousands of dollars worth of stuff and only pay like $10, right? right? So um, when they told her that she would have to pay, you know, the full price for her items, she questioned them about it. So her, uh, you know, what do we do in this day and age? Her husband took out a video camera, or her, his camera phone, and started videotaping the conversation she was having with the store manager. Well, Walmart didn't like that, so they decided, we're just going to ban your ass. Yeah. So you're done. Right. And what's really crazy about this story is she is so heartbroken about the fact that she can't shop at Walmart anymore. She's like, I just want to know why i got to <laughs> shop at Walmart. Yeah. Her, even her husband, he's quoted... Um, uh, his name is Renny Cuevas. He says that he is frightened that Walmart will attempt to ban him as well for asserting his views on their policies. Don't be frightened. There are other places to shop, okay? Places that will accept your coupons. I like that for the rest of her life, she can't go to Walmart. I actually yeah. literally like that. Yeah, no, I was going to say, well, mm -hmm. how do I get into that program? I admire those people. They're amazing. Except you don't need to stockpile They're mustard. crazy. <laughs> They're not amazing. They're nuts. She, she spends her whole day, like, getting coupons to go to Walmart. And then she's crying that she can't. I didn't do anything wrong. And I would also like to go back to Walmart. <laughs> and she's saying she's amazing. No, it's amazing that they can find deals like that. I mean, They're look. in the paper. I mean, Look, they're everywhere. They're, well, you found them. They're, you go online together. Just calm down. You have to watch that show that I'm talking about. Then you'll understand how amazing they really are.